in 1992, China launched its manned space program with a three-step strategy. Now, 30 years has passed. The first step was to launch a manned spaceship, set up primarily integrated experimental manned spacecraft engineering, and carry out space application experiments. In October 2003, China successfully launched its first manned spaceship Shenzhou 5. It was a milestone for China's manned space program and made China the third country to send a man into space. Two years later, two astronauts were sent into space aboard Shenzhou 6 and returned safely. The second step includes making technological breakthroughs in extravehicular activities, space rendezvous and docking of manned spaceships and spacecraft as well as sending space labs to the universe. In September 2008, China launched the Shenzhou 7 spaceship and achieved its first spacewalk. In September 2011, China launched its first prototype space station Tiangong-1, which later docked with the Shenzhou 8, Shenzhou 9, and Shenzhou 10 spacecraft. In September 2016, China launched the Tiangong-2 space lab, in October 2016, the Shenzhou 11 spacecraft was successfully launched and docked with Tiangong-2. The crew of two astronauts, Jing Haipeng and Chen Dong, spent 30 days aboard Tiangong-2. The third step is to assemble a space station and provide a solution for space application of a larger scale with manned tending on a long-term basis. In April 2021, China successfully launched its space station core module Tianhe. Afterward, the Shenzhou 12 and Shenzhou 13 manned missions each sent a three-person crew to the space station, who stayed in orbit for three months and half a year respectively. In May 2022, China launched cargo spacecraft Tianzhou 4 to deliver supplies for its space station. On June 5, 2022, the Shenzhou 14 spaceship sent three Taikonauts to China's space station. The TRIO will stay in orbit for six months and complete the assembly and construction of the space station, concluding the three-step strategy of China's manned space program. In recent years, breakthroughs have been made in space cooperation between China and Africa. Using China's remote sensing data, the two sides carry out cooperation in the fields of disaster prevention and mitigation, radio astronomy, satellite navigation and positioning, and precision agriculture. The complete satellite assembly integration and test center built by Egypt with China's help has laid solid foundations for Egypt's aerospace industry. China assisted Algeria to launch its first ever communication satellite. It also completed the in-orbit delivery of the Sudan First Scientific Experiment Satellite. In 2019, at the Namibia University of Science and Technology, Chinese astronauts Liu Yang and Chen Dong shared their stories with the students, using photos and videos showing the training, the liftoff and their work in space. China has increased the Beidou system's global service capacity and established Beidou Cooperation Forum mechanism with the African Union, completing the first overseas Beidou center in Tunisia, and conducting satellite navigation cooperation with countries such as South Africa and Algeria. In July 2022, China launched the first lab module of its space station, Wendian, with a takeoff mass of 23 tons and a length of nearly 18 meters. The Wen Tian Lab Module, the Tian He Core Module, together with the Meng Tian Lab Module to be launched later this year, will comprise the final multi-module space station. Today, our class will take place in the Wen Tian Module. It is the very first live lecture from the Tian Gong classroom to Africa, expected to sow the seeds of science and enlight dreams for African students.